Welcome to Tech Results Ramiro. In this video, we are going to learn how to use Azure Key Vault uh, secrets in pipeline activities. Um, so that's very important. Sometimes we do save all those username, uh, passwords, sometimes uh, web URLs, uh, tokens, and tons of other information in the Key Vault um, to keep them secure. Now, we need to use them in the Azure pipelines, and uh, that uh, is kind of challenging. Uh, uh, to use it uh, so uh, i'm going to show you guys how exactly you can get those values and then use them uh, now what we will be doing here we will be creating azure key vault uh, then we'll be creating secret uh, then we'll be creating uh, uh, here in uh, this part we will be providing permission to the azure key vault uh, to the azure data factory because the azure data factory need to have a permission to read those secrets right and then uh, in the we will be creating a pipeline in which we will use web activity to read uh, the secrets uh, from the azure key vault uh, in uh, our pipeline uh, and then uh, we'll, i will show you how to save them in the variable so whenever, wherever you need to use them then you can use it uh, okay first of all uh, let's go to the portal and then uh, create the key vault uh, i'm going to go to key vaults here if or you if you don't have it right here because i just used it before so it is showing me right here but if you don't have it just type key vault uh, and uh, you will get right there once you have the key vault you're gonna hit create let me select the subscription here and uh, now uh, I have my subscription after that I will be selecting the resource group and then uh, I will be providing the name of the key vault uh, in this case uh, I'm going to call it tech brothers key vault okay so that's the name we will be choosing okay this is probably already in use okay fine so let me do another one so I will say tech uh, key vault okay so that should work uh, this is already picked too so how about uh, if we say one okay so is that uh, available yes it is available so tech uh, in key vault one that's what we have created and we don't have to do anything else we are going to go ahead and create it and then uh, once it's created uh, we will be creating a secret uh, i'm going to open uh, another page here so you can see multiple things uh, because i have uh, uh, other things to show you so okay so it is uh, being deployed right now and uh, my azure data factory is uh, called the uh, tech versus adf uh, so let's go ahead and take a look on that one we are going to go ahead and open uh, our uh, azure data factory portal and uh, here we have uh, that uh, studio we have author then we have uh, all those uh, link services and everything as of now i do not have a whole lot here so i'm waiting for here and uh, then uh, my key vault is ready so let's go to resources and now what we have we have keys we have secrets and we have access policies if you want to take a look further on details you can spend some time here and see what exactly it has but in my case i'm going to go straight to secrets and there i will be seeing generate import now i will be providing the name of secret so let's say if i have username and uh, I'm going to save some values here. So in my case, I, if uh, my username is the TB user, I just uh, save this uh, TB user here. And on top, I, I provided just username. So I can go ahead and create now. Now, if I would like to save another password, so I can call it password. Uh, and uh, then uh, we can say test123 dollar sign, whatever. So I save that value as well. Now, if uh, you want to save some URL or you some token, you know, uh, anything, you can save it. Um, you can just keep creating, you know, and here you will provide the token 12345, whatever, and uh, that's fine. In previous videos, I showed you how to even save connection strings for your uh, uh, blob storage as well as for your uh, Azure SQL DB. So you can watch that video. Now, these uh, secrets are created here, and uh, now, at this time, uh, my Azure Data Factory does not have any permission on uh, this uh, key vault. Uh, so if I go to the access policies, uh, it does not have any permission. So I can uh, try to create uh, a linked service here and show you. Like I will get the error and then I will uh, just provide the permission. That's one way. Or simply I can uh, add the permission first. So in this case, uh, I'm going to go ahead and add the permission first. So I'm going to go to the access policies here and go to add access policies here. And then uh, I'm going to go provide some permission. So you have uh, keys, secrets, certificates, uh, you know, all that. So whatever the permission you want to provide, provide. In my case, I'm going to go get and list. That's all I'm going to give to this uh, Azure Data Factory. Because my goal is just to read. Now here uh, in the select principle, click on none selected. 
and then uh, provide the name of your Azure Data Factory. In my case, it's Tech Brothers dash ADF. So see right there, that's my Azure Data Factory name. I'm going to select and then select and uh, add. Once it's added, you can see right here, it is uh, telling me what permissions I have on key permission, secret permission, certificate permission, and all that. And uh, then I'm going to hit save. Now my Azure Data Factory is added and it uh, can read the secrets from this uh, key vault. Okay, so that's good. Let's go to the Azure Data Factory now. In the Azure Data Factory, uh, I let's uh, think uh, a lot of scenarios where I have to read uh, these uh, secret values. Maybe I need to read the username, password, and all that, and use in sub activities in Azure Data Factory. So how to read that? Uh, first of all, I'm going to go to the author here. I'm going to go to the pipeline and new pipeline. And in the pipeline, uh, the very first task uh, I will be doing it. Uh, I will be bringing a web activity. So web activity activity will be used to read the the secrets from the azure uh, key vault so i'm going to say read uh, read token from azure key vault okay so that's the name and now i'm once i'm there i'm going to go to the settings and in the settings i have to provide some information first of all i have to provide the url so here the url i will be going to the key vault go to the token and then uh, or you go to user whatever you need to get right then you're going to click on uh, this uh, current uh, value and you are going to so copy the secret identifier so copy here so i'm going to copy this uh, and then i'm going to go back to the data factory here and then paste okay so that's fine and uh, then i will be selecting get so i want to get the value and here auto resolve is just fine and uh, now in the authentication i will be selecting manage identity okay so once I do that, I have to provide two more values here before if uh, this will run. Um, if you go to my notes here, I have used this link. I will post, put in the description and uh, you can read through. And uh, here are a, a couple of things that this article tells you. So let me copy this article all the way. And uh, if you go right there, copy and uh, let's open. And now if you read, it tells you two things. It tells you when you will use this one in the resources, you are going to use this guy, HTTP uh, wall.azure.net. And also one more thing, in the uh, resource, uh, uh, that's what you need to add at the end. So the URL we have, URL right here, we have to add this part at the end. So if you see my notes here, I already have put right there. Like, okay, in the you have to add this part at the end of this uh, URL. So I'm going to copy the same information and then uh, go back to my data factory here and uh, remember here in the url so go all the way end and then just paste so this part is added to it okay i mean it would be nice i don't know if uh, they will uh, work on this one and the, by default they add this to it uh, you know under the hood so it, you people don't have to copy and paste and all that but anyways that's uh, the choice of the people who build this you know I'm not the developer here. So anyways, the next, uh, what you're going to do here, you're going to, in the resource, you're going to copy this part and go right there and paste it there. Okay, so now you are using the web activity and uh, you're connecting on this uh, URL and getting the value, you know, right there. So remember this uh, uh, URL is, bel uh, th this belongs to this uh, key vault um, URL and that is a specific for our token. If you guys see, this is a, the token that we have saved. So our token, see, this is our secret to call token. So you can have password, username, whatever, you know. So for each of that, there is a URL. So that's also, I'm not really happy with that because if I have to select five values, I have to use five different web activities and get the values. Or maybe I have to save in a different way, maybe in an array or something, and then I can parse them later. Yeah, that's one way to do it. So maybe it, we can try at the end of this video. So now this value is going to come. I can go ahead and debug. So this is completed and let's take a look. So if you see right there, that's the token value it got, okay? So that's good. And now I can uh, save this into the variable. So set variable. If I have a variable here, then I can uh, just create a variable and I can say token value, okay? Now this is going to be string and then uh, I can just uh, simply connect. And here I have to go to the variables, select the name of the variable. In the value, I'm gonna go to the add dynamic and then select the read token from uh, AKV, uh, Azure Key Vault, 
and dot value okay because that's what I mean want to get from here okay so I can debug and uh, in this case and now this is activity web activity is going to run it's going to get the value from the key vault and then save into the variable so if you execute so you see right there that's the value so token value and uh, that's a token name you know variable name that's what we have and this is the value so in case uh, if I want to go back say like oh I want to get the value of username so what I have to do here I can go to user here and then uh, in I will copy this uh, secret uh, identifier go back to my uh, web activity and here uh, I have to go all the way and there remember there is a question mark at the end so I can I just leave this value and uh, just delete that part so I'm left with this and then just going to paste that so in this case now I'm going to get the user secret value so if I execute it's going to get this value so see right there if I would say tb user that's what the value is saved in this secret so the na name is a username and then we should be fine okay so let's uh, web it is uh, looking for see the value to be user that's what it got from the secret so this is how you will be saving different uh, type of uh, secrets in key vault and then uh, uh, you will uh, extract them by using the web activity now let me as uh, the scenario came in mind uh, don't just um, uh, I, I want to give a try in the real time I have not experimented this one so anyways uh, that's fine so we can uh, generate another secret here and uh, in the secret uh, maybe I will say uh, array info okay so in this case what I can do uh, let me build that array and uh, then I can say something like this so this is my array and uh, then I'll say name and uh, then uh, in the name is a uh, tb user okay and then uh, I have uh, so people can build like a different array and uh, then uh, can probably save it and read that array. So let me see if uh, I do from here password and then I will say and this is test password. Okay. So now if uh, let me check this is a correct JSON. So I have to because uh, I don't know check JSON online okay so we just paste it this value there and uh, now if we say validate uh, no it's not the correct JSON uh, so I believe I have to put parentheses around or something like that or actually uh, you know what I can simply save the values like that so I don't have to have even a parents is around this guy okay. okay so this is valid JSON now and uh, what I can do I can copy I don't know if I will copy as it is it's gonna pay let me paste in that box so, so I will uh, do one thing I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put it right there and uh, just put in one liner so I don't have a problem and then uh, right there so you can save the values something like that and uh, what happened then uh, you can read uh, the, that JSON value and uh, then uh, parse it inside uh, the pipeline so let me save this guy here so right there and uh, we are gonna say create uh, what did it say no, sorry this is a current content right cut and the right here paste okay so that's fine it's saved now it's the uh, array info right so now we go back to our your data factory here and uh, let me go back actually take that array info url so now we go to the secret identifier copy and go to adf here go to web activity and uh, now in the web activity i need to delete this because we, that's not going to be valid anymore go to web here and then go all the way there and here now you are going to paste that the URL. Now this is the all good and uh, now we debug. So if, if you notice that what I did, I created an array of uh, with the values. So save them. So I don't have, I can read the entire array and uh, by using the web activity and then I can parse it later. So if you go right there, 
you see that I have a value.name tb user and then I have a password the password is this one so then you can use a different uh, variable set variable and read those values uh, and uh, make it work for you so thank you very much for watching and please uh, go ahead and subscribe my channel and I hope uh, this video will be helpful uh, how to use uh, the secret value you saved in the uh, Azure Key Vault in the uh, Azure Data Factory pipelines. So thank you very much and I will see you guys in the next video.